Hello, and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Carson Jones, and today's date is January 17th, 1920. The Ford Model T has just been released for only $300. Whippy! Women just gained the right to vote, and the stock market is booming. What's that sound? Whoa! Great text! I can't make horse feathers of where I am. What a beautiful automobile. This place is hotsy totsy. Absolutely swell. Are you big cheese? Come here. Don't mind me asking what year it is. It's 2020. Oh, great e-gap. I've gone a hundred years into the future. How's the market? It's fine. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, I'm <coughs> you. Oh, what's up, bro? Hey. Oh, what's going on? Good. How about you? Pretty good. What's, what's new and upcoming? Uh, the winner ball. Oh, awesome, man. Let's go. Oh, dick. My heart in the night time. She left me out in the cold. She left me broken and weary. Drunk off the last. How have you prepared? I used to eat crayons as a child, so. Crayons! <laughs> How is it, Hall? It's tight! <laughs> what are you about it? You people are disgusting. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you have rated your experience? I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, getting my hair ripped out? I was like a 9. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... 9 out of something. Sure. I'll give it a 9. Okay. Accurate. <laughs> It was unbelievably refreshing. Really? Yeah, it was cold. I'm sitting on it because I don't want it to get in my pants. Yeah, well, so you're going to have to stand up. Oh, I highly recommend a Sunday bath. <laughs> <laughs> What's Totsi mean? Um, sexy. No. <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, I guess something with energy. Maybe a high energy. I don't know. Just got off of like a, a bang energy drink or something. And like you're all over the place. You mean that you're hot? That you're sexy? That you're looking adorable? <laughs> that you're no. Girls that are hot. What does dogs mean? Like, bro. <laughs> I guess, like, friends. No. A pet? I don't know. <laughs> what does G-Man mean? The government people. Mean? It means gangsta. Just kidding. It's the men that caught the gangsters. It means you work for the government. You're a government man. What does wet blanket mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm not the guy for the wet blanket. Somebody who's, uh, who, who's really uh, depressed. I <laughs> <laughs> the significance of a wet blanket. Um, wet clothes. I don't know. Oh, I know that one. 
it doesn't it like you're boring uh what does blower mean blower um uh, stupid <laughs> dumb something that blows good i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't want to answer that one <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, you have a new class, right? Yes. And can you talk about this class and explain us? The class I'm having right now? Yeah. Asian studies. So, in this class, we're learning all about Asia, its people, its traditions, its languages, its ancient culture, and its current culture. Things like K-pop and other things like that. So, we're going to talk about, we're going to do a whole unit on K-pop, we're going to do a, a unit on anime and uh, Chinese horror movies, Chinese martial arts movies, all these things. So it's just, a, it's just we're going to delve into as much Asian culture as we can. Mostly East Asia and Southeast Asia. Okay, cool. I love K-pop, so. Yeah, me too. We're going to do a whole, we're going to do a whole bunch of BTS too. Yeah, cool. And, I think all those things. and why did you choose to do this class? Because I have two degrees in Asian studies. And why people should like join this class? Well, Asia makes up almost two thirds of the world's population. Um, outside the United States, the largest economies in the world are found in Asia. There are also large military powers. Asia is Asia is the 21st century, so it's very important to learn about Asia. It's very important for you, and it's also an enriching culture. Many of the great things, inventions of the early world, were invented in Asia. Gunpowder, rockets, paper money, printing, uh, astronomy. So it's amazing. Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So I know that you have a new class. Okay. Yes. And can you talk about your new class? Sure. Uh, it's criminal law. Um, and we're going to go over uh, some legal court cases, uh, criminal law, criminal procedure, what... Um, police officers can and can't do when you're being pulled over or arrested or whatever the case may be. Um, some laws about inmates in prison, correctional law, and some legal cases about that, like what rights do you lose when you go to jail. Uh, some history about some pretty uh, interesting uh, crimes of the past, and field trips. We're going to go to um, take a tour of the Utah County Jail. We're going to take a, um, not a tour of the state prison, but go listen to some uh, female inmates talk and have a, like a public awareness panel. We're going to go to the courthouse in Salt Lake and watch some people uh, in the different aspects of um, legal cases and probably get some lunch. Cool. And why did you decide to teach this uh, class? Uh, because it interests me. I'm passionate about it. I. Uh, went and graduated from law school and so I've done some of it even though I haven't practiced law it's fascinating like um, what the government can and can't do to you so like if society determines that something is illegal and then you do it um, and you can be put in a prison or a dog cage and, um, and so just like to study and talk and analyze okay is that a good thing is that a bad thing should it be changed etc and why students should be come to this class? Um, well, we're, f we're full right now. I've got like 31 students, but um, because I teach a little bit differently, I think I assume that. Um, a lot of discussions. I like to get out of the classroom as much as possible um, and go learn about real life. played a game of basketball who would win the girls for sure of course the girls girls <laughs> the girls <laughs> sorry ladies i would have to say the boys the boys i mean the girls come on the boys would let them win exactly so we're gentlemen we are gentlemen huh I yes you, yes you. gentlemen i know this is really politically incorrect to say this mm -hmm. but i gotta go with the guys the gu see guys we have to <laughs> yeah Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go with the boys. Um, definitely the boys. Exactly. Like, like we just didn't dominate, huh? We all we only win, bro. Only take those. Only. Only. Oh. <laughs> 
the coupe at the lot. Told him 12 swat. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals. We been trapping like the A.D. She said the so got the cash out. Told him wipe a no. Say slash slash. I won't never sell my soul. And I can back that. And I really wanna know where you at, where I was at, back where the stash at. Cruise the city in a bulletproof Cadillac. Cause I know these niggas out there where the bag at. Gotta move smarter, gotta move harder. Try to give me five my water. I lay his down on my son, on my daughter. I had the Draco with me, Dwayne Carter. A lot of niggas out here playing, ain't ballin'. I done put my whole arm in the rim, Vince Carter. And I know Poppy get a key for the quarter. Shot it belly, seen the double C's, I bought her. Got it, that's looking like a Leah, she a model. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mm. Pour up the whole damn seal. I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals. We been trapping like the A. What was your favorite memory from 2019? Um, traveling with my family. I went to Europe. I went to Norway, Sweden, France, England, Scotland, and Ireland. Oh, friends. <laughs> what was your favorite memory from 2019? Taking Maddie's dance class. What was your favorite memory of 2019? Mm, sleeping. What was your favorite memory from 2019? Uh, my favorite memory was when I went ice skating with my family at the Olympic Oval. It was really fun. Oh, that sounds fun. What was your favorite memory of 2019? Uh, I think when I came in the United States for my first time. Mm -hmm.